open your browser and type gem x a m w p and click on the link www.apachefresh.org click on this link and you will have to download if you have a windows then download this and if you have linux and then mac right so basically it is a apache plus maria db plus php plus Perl combinations so apache you can run php maria db Perl apache server we basically required we apache server to run right to php script php program so if you have we have a window right so click on this suppose you have window click on this and and uh, your download will start automatically right so you can download this gem windows on your laptop or any device right after that because i already have downloaded it right and uh, after that you will have to download the editor editor is like we are using sublim editor sublim sublim text editor right i am using this sub so official site www dot sub lim sublime text com right. click on this link and click on download for windows right. because i have a dumb windows so click on this download for windows and download start i already downloaded and installed it on our system right but first time if you are you don't do not have these softwares like XAMPP and Sublime Text Editor. Then you will have to download. After the download, both the software and install on your system. Then suppose I already download XAMPP, right? So this is a XAMPP software. You will have to start Apache and MySQL, right? Then. Uh, I already have a sublim text editor right click on this and one more thing you will have to create the uh, project name in stdoc c drive and xamp then stdoc you will have to create the new any project name in the stdoc suppose we create a uh, text test okay and and I open the sublim text editor Click on the file, open folder, and click on the project name that I that I created. That was test. So select this test, right? And you can see that the project name is test, right? And we have to create a file. Hence. Save this file name. Any file name, suppose your file name is hello. You will have to add .php in the last, right? So this is hello .php. The file is created, right? You will have to type HTML then tab. So this is HTML code basically, right? And when you type here anything, suppose uh, uh, st heading hello world, hello world, right? And save this file, okay? So now this file is saved, okay? So run this file, you will have to go to the browser. And you will have to open the local host, local host, and which file name is project and test, and uh, then hello dot php, hello dot php. So this is the file path. Basically, you can see the here, hello dot php, right? Okay. 
enter this now you can see that hello world is printed right anything this is this is the basic html code anything you want you can edit here right so this this is the basic html code suppose p you will write hello hello world now save this file and run this file so this is the paragraph right so this is the basic uh, installation of jamp server and uh, uh, sublim text editor and then you can see the basic code how to run the code in the in the php so basic this basically this is the basic html code suppose you want to run the php code right so you will have to write php so this is the php basically php code you can write the script in between right in between you can write any suppose echo is a function of php right so if you write here hello world right and semicolon then save this file if you run this file Oh, yes, run this file. You can see that hello world. It is printing hello world. So basically, this is the uh, PHP script, right? So you will have to write the code of PHP in between these, these two. Okay. So equal the function of PHP, and we are printing the hello world. now it is printing the hello world right so this is the thing so you can see that how to install jamp server and the sublim text editor and print the hello world in php